And national news, the Senate has unanimously passed a bill that would make Juneteenth or June 19th a federal holiday commemorating the end of slavery in the United States. Under the legislation, the holiday would be known as Juneteenth National Independence Day. Juneteenth commemorates when the last enslaved African Americans learned they were free more than two years after the Emancipation Proclamation went into effect on January 1st, 1863, and months after the end of the Civil War in 1865. The bill is expected to pass the House, which would send it to the president's desk for his signature. Taking you now to Geneva, Switzerland, where President Biden has arrived for a high-stakes meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Ahead of tomorrow's meeting, the Russian Navy began conducting what it calls its largest exercise since the end of the Cold War, positioning ships and long-range bombers just 300 to 500 miles west of Hawaii. President Biden says he's going into this summit with full support from European allies. We're committed to the same democratic norms and institutions, and, are, uh, and they are increasingly under attack. White House officials say President Biden plans to press Putin on security issues like the Russian invasion of Ukraine and recent cyber attacks on U.S. businesses. As we head into the break, we want to thank you again for trusting WRBL News 3.